So I got this KitchenAid microwave. It's really old. June 1999. Uh, here's a model number. And it just cooked off on the guy. So I'm gonna take it apart and see if there's a uh, thermal thing in there that can be replaced. Let's see if we can bring this back to life. If not, we'll be trying to find one that fits this size because this is a built-in. So let's go ahead and get it taken apart. Yeah, so it looks like something cooked off here. I do got a part number. Just a simple plug here. Well, hopefully we can find this part. Now, looking inside the microwave, there's a, a cover. It's called a mica sheet that covers over where the magnetron puts out its power. Um, you're going to want to make sure you clean that all up because if the magnetron blew up like mine, then it's gonna have little metal chunks everywhere. You don't want that. So I tried to get all the black gunk off that I could. There's still a bunch on there, but it is smooth. And it's more like just a discoloration than any uh, rust or anything. So you're gonna to wanna to clean that all up really good. Here's what my mica sheet uh, looks like. It's got a big torched piece here. And replacement parts have arrived. And here's what they look like. Um, looks like an exact match to the uh, existing magnetron. So here's a new one on the right, right down to the holes on this portion here. Very much similar. So you got to measure across and uh, lengthwise. So in my case, they wanted the measurements from here to here and from here to here. So that's, that's how you're going to know you're going to get one with the right size bracket. Then also we've got our uh, paper replacement here. Uh, mica card, I guess they call it. This particular card here. This is like a cut to fit portion. I got two of them in my order uh, that are gonna be useful here. I'm gonna trace this out with a magic marker and then do some trimming and try to cut out a, a match here from this existing piece. All right, we're gonna attach this mica sheet first. Here's this little plastic, like a little plastic rivet. Um, there's one here, and then there's one here, and there's a little plastic um, other side of the rivet that's gonna poke through um, and hold that in place, but there's not, not much holding this thing up. That's it. It's gonna tuck into the top here. And to hold that uh, sheet in place while I put the two pins in, I stuck a magnet on it just to hold it against the microwave. Okay, we've got that mica paper installed. Now we'll take this magnetron and bolt it back up. All right, everything's installed. I'm gonna give it a little test run before we put the whole cover back on it. Just gonna heat up some noodles here, see how this works. All right, here we go. We've got some steaming hot noodles and this microwave is back in operation. So that's it. You can easily repair these on your own if you've got that magnetron failure. Just don't forget, get your replacement uh, mica card as well. You can cut this to fit into your existing machine, uh, replace that magnetron, and you've saved another um, 10 years out of this microwave. Hey, I hope this video was helpful and hope this information was useful to you. And as always, hope you have a great day.